Hello, today we're going to do a quick video on how to calibrate for the EDS on the FEI Quanta. For this video, you should already have a background understanding of how the SEM works and should have watched the video on EDS. That's simply so you can follow along a little bit easier and understand the vocabulary I'm using. If you don't understand anything I'm saying, you can go ahead and check out those videos again just for a quick refresher. So we are going to be calibrating today with a silicone sample. I've already focused on the sample and done all of the setup for the actual microscope and my working distance is at 10 millimeters. So once you have that already squared away, you can start opening up the Inca. So the Inca is the program that we use to run EDS. Just a second. And when you get to this page, when you're going to do a calibration, the first thing you're going to go to is the microscope setup. This window is to help you figure out where your approximate counts are uh, from your sample. You want it to be at at least 10,000. And when you're going to run this, you have to make sure that the only thing in your window is the silicon sample. You don't want any dust or contaminants. You don't want anything around the edges. It has to be all silicon, because otherwise you're going to get data from something else. So to check to make sure that we have the right amount of counts, I'm just going to go ahead and click this green button up here that says Start Acquisition. So already it's starting to acquire some of the data. And you can see the counts are going up really fast, which is good. That means we're going to have enough counts for this. And you want to make sure that your dead time also is not too high. You can see at the bottom there it says dead time 25, 20%. Those are all all right. If it gets too high, then you're going to have to actually turn down your voltage that you're supplying to your microscope. So we've got 10 seconds to go and we are well over the 10,000 counts that we are aiming for. So either you can let it run for the next 4 seconds or you can press this stop button over here. It's really up to you depending on how patient you are. So once we've figured out that our window and our sample is well enough in focus with a solid dead time and enough counts, we can actually go to the calibration page, which is right underneath the microscope setup at Quant Optimization. So for this Quant Optimization, it kindly reminds you to ensure the optimization element covers the entire field of view. It simply means to make sure you're only looking at the silicon. So we tune with silicon, which is why that's up here. You want to make sure this is always silicon unless you're tuning with something else. There are other options. So to go ahead and start the calibration, you're going to press this green button right up here. Now this runs for about 40 seconds, not too terribly long. And you can see again the dead time is listed. If you don't have enough counts, you can go ahead and up your voltage or increase your spot size or increase your acquisition time. But do keep in mind that this affects the dead time. Quick pointer, when you're going to actually set up for any sort of EDS, you want to make sure that the uh, infrared camera is off. So this window right here needs to have that green pause button. If this camera is on during any EDS or calibration, it actually throws things off significantly and increases your dead time. So if you do have a really high dead time, make sure you check that this box and this, this infrared camera is off. Alright, so it looks like it is all done collecting data. And what we're going to do is simply press this measure button right down here. And that's going to tell the machine this is what I would like to measure as my calibration point. So what pops up is this beam current is 99.97% of the last value. That just means the last time it was calibrated it had a little bit higher value, but this is still perfectly reasonable and within range. So I'm going to go ahead and say this is good, and it is all calibrated and we are ready to run some EDS.